Welcome to Siva Education UT module. The goal of this tutorial is to help you familiarize yourself with Siva Education modeling software. Simple cases relative to a beam computation and an ultrasonic inspection are proposed and explained in detail. The setting up of a simulation follows a standard workflow process. The different steps in the setup of the simulation are always the same, regardless of the problem you want to solve. The setting up of a model consists of the following steps. First, define the specimen to be inspected. Then, define the parameters related to the probe. Choose a flow and define its geometry, only in the inspection module. Define the positioning of the probe and, when you deal with the inspection module, its scanning. Define the delay low if needed, when you select phase array probes. Finally, define the different options for the computation, modes and computation zone in the case of a beam computation. Now, let's see how it works. In Siva Education, both beam computation and inspection simulation are available. Thanks to the configuration wizard, it is possible to quickly define a configuration. Several panels are available. The first one, the specimen panel, allows you to choose between a cylinder and a planar configuration. Choose a cylinder with the dimensions shown here. In the Material tab, go to the library and define steel as the material. In the Probe panel, you can define the crystal's shape, the focusing, the dimensions of the wedge and the signal's parameters. Select a flat focusing from the Focusing tab. In the Wedge tab, define the geometry of the wedge as shown. The 3D view is automatically refreshed when a parameter is modified. In the Material tab, go to the library and select Plexiglass. In the Signal tab, the frequency, the bandwidth and the phase can be adjusted. Define a center frequency of 2 MHz with a bandwidth equal to 50% and a phase equal to 0 degrees. In the third panel, you can define the positioning of the probe. In that case, the inspection plane will be parallel to the rotation axis on the outer part of the cylinder. In the Positioning tab, modify the coordinates of the reference point. Then, the modes and the computation zone are defined. In that case, T waves will be computed. The backward reflection modes can be computed by clicking on the corresponding option. In this case, the option is disabled. The dimensions of the computation zone are defined here. The positioning of the computation zone is defined here. The orientation of the computation zone can be modified in order to match the beam direction. Finally, you can run the simulation by clicking on Run. The results are displayed in the Analysis page. You can display the 3D view to see the acoustic pressure in the specimen. Now, let's take a look at the inspection simulation. Here, the weld configuration is available. We will model one. This time, we will deal with a phased array probe. Select a linear probe. The flows and array settings panels are now available. The parameters of the weld are defined here. From the Material tab, go to the Library and in Isotropic select Steel. The parameters of the array are defined here. Just as before, 
the focusing, the dimensions of the wedge and the signal's characteristics can be set. Select a flat focusing and define the geometry of the wedge as shown. Select transverse for the wave type. Define the parameters of the probe's signal as shown. Now we will define a flow by clicking on the Flows menu. In this first tab, you can define the geometry of the flow. The position of the flow is adjusted in the second tab. The flow is located along the bevel. Define the probe's positioning by clicking on the Inspection menu. Modify the positioning as shown. In the Scanning tab, define the scanning parameters, 30 steps of 1 mm. The trajectory is defined. From the Array Settings menu, you can define the delay low. Several focal lows are available. To inspect a 30 degrees bevel, a 60 degrees beam steering is defined. Do not forget to compute the low. The deviation focal low at 60 degrees is not computed and can be visualized in the Edit Low tab. We can see that the main ray of the focal low actually hits the flow. In the last panel, several modes can be activated. In that case, we will only keep the transverse ones. The computation can be launched by clicking on Run. The results can be easily analyzed with the help of the Reflection option. You can drag and drop the results in the 3D view to see both the flow and the B-scan. Thank you for watching this video of SIVA Education, UT Module.